security judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I'm, I'm a victim too of domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. Hey, everyone. So, no sooner were we about to upload the video yesterday where it, the news had broke that yet more audio <laughs> had been released by the Daily Mail. Um, I immediately recorded it and was about to put it up on our channel and then I listened to it again and felt that it would actually be better if we added some commentary in order that people who maybe haven't been following the case that closely would better understand the context. Because, to be honest, this new audio is a little bit more easily twistable and easily misinterpreted. Kevin is actually working out of town this week, so we're doing separate recordings, giving our thoughts. So, about this recording, uh, we don't know what date this telephone call was recorded at this point, but we're assuming it was in around the time that Amber went public with her allegations of abuse. As you will hear, that video that was leaked on TMZ is discussed, as well as how TMZ got a hold of the news of the impending divorce and the allegations of abuse. So we know in around this time that Amber's parents had had several conversations with Johnny over text message claiming that Amber was only accusing him of domestic violence on her lawyer's advice, claiming that her lawyers told her she would be evicted from her home if she didn't accuse him of domestic violence. And we also know that Amber reiterated this sentiment in a final text to Johnny, blaming the lawyers on both sides. And like once you both you and I say, okay, done, done, that's when the six month thing process starts. And so I text you this, and I, I guess you don't remember it, but I text you that that you know, um at the at the very beginning and and I said, And my by the way, it's like a miracle. It didn't get noticed. So we can even do this privately and it will be quiet and 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 you know, in in and I said, unless you file and you don't have to file, and I was like trying to, I was trying to explain to you my limited understanding of the... My filing the did nothing, I, and all, it, it, it's, it's required. It, no, it's not. It is required to acknowledge you've been filed no, against, and you, you file it, you file it uh, as well. No, you do not, you, you make an, you can make an acknowledgement of some kind, you don't have to file back. When you but, file but, but back in court, it's I'm not, I'm really just trying to, you know what, you're trying to, I feel like you're trying to defend yourself, and I'm, 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 I'm you don't have to defend your team. We know lawyers are f***ed up. But you, you, you hear me, right? You hear me? Please stop defending yourself. I'm not trying to fight with you. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. This is truth. Stop defending yourself. Hmm. Subtle. I guess she only wants him to fight back when it's on her terms. I don't know why you're so um, why you're so angry about hearing it, or why, you, why you're so defensive. Maybe I'm not I, angry. I would want to know all the information. I'm not angry. I want this to go away. I'm trying to talk you into you, making this go away. You, then, then, then you, then you need to know the real truth behind this, and this is important. This was completely okay. private and was under the radar, and you did not have to file back. And I warned you that day, if you don't have to file back, if you, if you file back, what the f*** up is it if this up to it being discovered? And I'm thinking naively that it would just be discovered by the way that, like, TNZ typically discovers these things. I didn't know it would be hand-delivered to them within five, so it was like five minutes, not even. I did not know it would be given to them. I did not know, I couldn't have known at that time. How, how much Laura was going to um, use TMZ um, to her favor. I did not know that. So I just thought naively that TMZ could likely discover it if it was filed on your uh, on your part. I warned you, I said this to you, thinking that you were going to be participating. I said, hey, just so you know, you don't have to file. I'm not going to go after you. I don't want to stop talking to you or whatever, whatever. And you don't have to file. If you file, it just opens us up to being discovered. 
because by, for some reason, the way we filed, what when was, I had my, my lawyer, when she filed, she did it explicit, it explicit instructions to file within a stack of a bunch of other paperwork at the end of the day so that it would be it, it would be more likely to not be discovered. And I was told that would be the most effective method to be uh, having a shot at it not being picked up for a day or two. I thought, hey, maybe we'll buy it a few hours, you know? And I worked really hard, and so did my team, and it didn't get picked up by some miracle. So, like, literally three days, it didn't get known about. Eight minutes or five minutes after your team filed for you, which is a move they didn't have to make, then it was, it was picked up by TMZ. It was given to TMZ within five minutes of it being filed. And Laura went and did it at the very opening of the business day on top of the stack of paperwork. That is the opposite of keeping it private. And I just want you to know the whole truth. Like if, I, if I were you, I'd want to know all the information. I do, I do. I would like you to know all the information too. But, did, did, I mean, do you have proof of that? Yeah. Well, good, good, excellent. Well, I didn't, I mean, I didn't know anything about her filing a TMZ or any like that. She knows what I wanted. I don't... Then I think maybe she's trying to do what's best for you without maybe, you, you know, I don't, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, she knows what she wants. I will put it to you this way, um, without being able to show you from people that, without being able to show you and expose so my source, one of which, one of actually, one of them in this regard. Without doing that, I can just tell you the basic facts. Is like it was private for days after I filed. You did not have to file. That's not a move that one that other that the other party has to make. Okay. And it's just not. Okay. That, and you did. Okay. Well, your team did. Okay. And then within five minutes, it was private in TMZ. You just do the math yourself without any other. Thing, and that's why it's very clear. Okay. I, and I, I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. And and if that's the case, I'll 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 I'll, I'll acknowledge it. <clears throat> you know, um, and if you say you say you have proof, no. then I'll acknowledge it. Look, I, I, it doesn't shock me that 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 any. Yeah, it seems to make sense. Attorney would do something like that. It doesn't, you know. Um, yeah. It doesn't yeah. shock me. But I'm telling you now. If, if, if we go, if, if I file, if, if they file the papers tomorrow, which means I, the I gotta file before we go to court on Friday. Mm. If they file <clears throat> those papers, it's first of all, it's 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 very bad for both of us, okay. Well, your team's gonna file anything that they think is bad for you. Trust me. No, you're 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 what you're saying. You you gotta do something to protect yourself, which means throwing me under the bus for the some video about me being. Not, not me. I have to respond legally, meaning I'll have to go and and pursue the. No, I have to pursue the whole course of action because here's what you don't understand. If if we do this. And if, well, basically, well, no, because my, I called my lawyers and I said, why aren't we negotiating more? What is going on? Why, where are we? And they're like, everything is on their court. We literally. They, no, they won't settle. Anything. Your agents won't, your, your, your lawyers and won't settle, baby. I'm telling no, you. No, we, we, we want to mediate. We even have a mediate. We even found mediators and, and, and everything. Like that was all worked out. The, the thing that Laura didn't agree to was uh, she did not want to agree to a mutual gag order. And that's the problem, like, she doesn't want the gag order. Why, Johnny? Why? Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she want both parties to not talk about this in the press? By the way, just talking about the press, not even talking about the court. Okay, Why? I'll tell you what, Amber, let, let me get on that right now. I'll get on it right now. And, I, and I'll, I'll get a message back to you somehow. Just, uh, uh, you know, uh... But I'll, I'll, get, I'll get on I it right just, now. I, I, just want, I, I just want you to know, I've not done anything and have not been doing any move. Like, look it up, the timeline. Nothing was on the offense. Everything's been a defensive move because I'm being called a liar and a gold digger. It's interesting how in these situations, Amber always seems to be an innocent bystander. 
It always seems to be another party forcing her to react in a particular way. It's either his team or his lawyers or him or her lawyers. If you were to go by this audio alone, you would think that Amber is the least proactive person on the planet. However, the first bit of audio in which she talks about the wedding that she fought so hard to make happen clearly contradicts that narrative. And I'm not lying about any of this and I am not after a dime of your money. And you know what? I was told by Laura after the first meet in the thing, the reason that I stupid clicked um, I'm speaking spousal for because I was told that that was my only option because no divorce attorney would ever say not and then lose all rights to everything. Laura Walter had proposed that I leave, not proposed, I'm sorry, said I would have to leave. I'd be kicked out, be evicted, so Rock and Josh and everybody, evicted within 21 days. No, I, but I told you, I told, what? last last time we spoke, I told you that you that you were fine. You stay there two, two three, four months, whatever, just figure it out, we'll figure it out. You you stay there, you be... Com- I, I thought that too. That be in your home. Days. Be in your home. No, be- I thought that too. And no, be 20, 21 days, that is part of why... So Johnny is seen here reiterating what he said to Amber Heard's parents in text messages that recently emerged. That Amber and her friends who were living in his apartment rent free could stay as long as they needed. Um, so what we see so far is whenever it became apparent that Johnny was not stupid and knew how divorce filings work, she moves on to blaming TMZ and her lawyers and just about everybody else in the situation but herself. This is, this is, the, this is the thing, like, that's why I clicked, yes, seeking spouse support because that's the only way I didn't waive the right to stay in my home. That's how up this, like, I am having to do everything, every step I've had to make, but my hand is forced in it by really f- up aggressive moves made on your team's behalf. And now I've got to f- prove myself every step of the way, and it only hurts you. I don't want to hurt you. It's going, I love you. It's hurting you. It's hurting you. And it's hurting me. But the worst yeah, thing is, but it's hurting... It becomes court... It be, it be, do you want to go to court, Amber? Seriously. Do you want to go to court with this? I'm trying, I'm offering you right now a, 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 an opportunity for us to make this finish in peace. Peaceful, man. We walk away. You go do what you got to do. I'll go do what I got to do. I, I, I've been through the f-ing hurt. You've been through the f-ing hurt. I love you more than anything in, in life. I do not want to go into a f-ing court with you. I do not want to. I do not want to f-ing tarnish your name. I don't want to f-ing tarnish. I don't want enough. I want this to be done peacefully between us. And if you don't like the way that mediation is going, take me back to court, kid. Because I can't. I. I would. I re- this is the last f-ing chance, Amber. This is it. Once they file those papers, we don't turn around, man. And I know you hate me, and you know I know you. you what I, I'm telling you now, there is no call. It doesn't need to happen like this. Please, for sake, trust me, man. I was not going to help you in this. Nobody's going to help you in this. I'm trying to help you in this. I love you. Regardless of whether we're together or not, I love you, and I have loved you with everything in the world. Whether your love was real or not, I love you, and I want this. Hey. Can you hear me? Of course, everything I said was not heard, right? I don't know. I don't know where. I know. What? What I was trying to say is this. Continuing through court is going to end up nothing but bad for you 
and for me. And here we have another point that could be misinterpreted as an admission of mutual guilt. What Johnny here is trying to say is if they both go through court, it'll accumulate in a situation where there's a team Amber and a team Johnny and the whole thing becomes a circus in a pu the public eye. He does not want to go through this. He does not want to make the divorce proceedings ugly. He is offering her the opportunity to quietly lift this temporary restraining order and settle their differences. It's just going to be bad. In any case, no matter whether we ruin each other or not, it's going to be heartbreaking. It's terrible. Let's write a mutual letter that says, look, we, we in lieu of what's transpiring out there in the world with all this crazy we've decided to take this private. We're not going to go to court right now over this. We're going to try to work something out together. And then at least, at the very least, it, 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 I know you want to respond and I know you want to uh, defend yourself. Listen to me. Defending yourself by throwing someone under the bus is not going to look good. I'm not, you know, it's not about that. It would not be about me throwing you under the bus. You know what it would be? It would be released through documented people coming on the record and it, having the protection to do so that haven't had yet. It would be eyewitness statements. It would be evidence, tons of it, and it would be through years. And it would be unbelievable, unbelievable, um, to imagine that either I'm in a, a secret fake club, or B I've had um, a secret what? I've had swap, a secret fight club, or that I have been plotting to do this for the you know for three years, and while well, taking pictures of it and documenting it, just saving it up for the right time when I'm not asking for any money and have nothing financial to gain from it. But no one is going to believe that. No one is going to believe that one of the two alternatives, either I'm in a fight club, or I've been getting going through hair and makeup or going through makeup through all these years where I have cooperating text messages between people that match those dates of those timestamps, validated photos of, of I would either cooperation between people hearing us or cooperation of next day, you know, um, Whitney sending text message to Kevin, him responding, or, you know, the kind of stuff like between uh, uh, me and people in your life. I, it is insanely cross-cooperated, uh, cross Ben. It, it is a plan. I'm going to put makeup on myself and take pictures throughout years and just sit on it for years. This is an incredibly telling monologue. I mean... I can't understand why she would say any of this if she were a genuine victim. If you're a genuine victim, surely this idea of faking bruises and cooperating text messages with friends, with photographs, surely that would not cross your mind if you were a genuine victim. I find this whole monologue very, very telling. That, that, well, while having this, like, imaginary life run parallel to it, you understand that I, the pictures I have match with, like, text messages to my mom back and forth about it, you know? And text messages between, say, Raquel and my, my mom, or my, Raquel and my dad, or, you know, um, between my two friends. Or there's a text message where I tell Jody the night before I had that James Corden night show thing, where I say, hey, Jody, um, I've had an accident. Um, I think I may have a, I have a busted lip. I may have a busted nose and and um, two black eyes tomorrow because I don't. I don't know how bad it will be until the morning and we may have to cancel. But I don't know how. Um, I sing it. Um, I just I'll let you know in the morning. You know, and things like that. It it doesn't matter. There is nothing that, nothing, and I will, and all of that won't be me throwing you under the bus. That's, that will be evidence in this case, which I 
will ha it will be criminal as well because I cannot go on Friday and file without filing a police statement first. And the only reason I haven't filed that police statement, which has been used against me, by the way, every day, and the only reason I won't do it, I haven't done it, is because I don't want to hurt you, and that means it goes out of my hands. And every you know, the third party guy, uh, third party prosecutor come. And, um, and a criminal lawyer come, and they went, like, the problem is, hearing from you, like, your biggest struggle is that this is just, this is such a, it's the most solid evidence case of domestic violence I've ever seen, and if you give this over to them or present any part of it, it's, they will prosecute him, and I felt like, I don't, I'm not, like, I would never want yeah, so here we see, by her mentioning this mystery third-party prosecutor she spoke to, she is trying to put the thr Frighteners into him and panic him into uh, complying with her. If she's got such solid evidence, one would have to question why she wants this defamation case thrown out of court. Surely she could take this solid evidence with her to the defamation case and prove she's been telling the truth all along. Because I don't even, it's hard for me to even understand, I don't call my phone, it's like, it's not in my head, it's hard for me to even accept any sort of victimdom ever. And this, Amber, the listen, I here's what I, here's, I, I, I understand, I understand, and I don't want to hurt you either. I, I'm only going to say this. I, I love you, <laughs> I love you, and I've always loved you, and <clears throat> I know that, um, look, you do whatever you feel you have to do, I'm telling you now it's a mistake to go to court, but if you want to go to court, we'll go to court, I would rather, I would rather take care of it a different way, I think it would, it would, be very good for you and I think it would be very good for me um, but you know what baby 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 Okay, and do you, do you remember me 15 minutes ago saying, let me make a call, let me get on this, and I'll try and get yeah. back in touch with you? Okay? Yeah. So, let's not jump. Okay. Let's not jump on me, okay? I'm not trying to jump on you. I'm sorry. I'm going to try and, I'm gonna tr try and get through, see what the f*** is going on, see what the f*** has been happening, and I will get back to you. I'll... I'll call your mom, and, 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 um, but I, 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 you know, I, I hope, I hope I don't, you, I don't want it to go, I don't want it to, I didn't want any of it, I don't want it to be. It's been going on too long, Amber, and we just gotta stop this. Just gotta stop it. I don't know how to get my, um, reputation back. We write a letter together. That makes Saying that we're going to take this out of the public eye. Saying that we're going to try and work this out on our, on our own. Saying that the media has created such a hateful storm that it's sickening that we love each other. And that we want to make sure each other is okay. Have we had fights in the past? Have we had this or whatever? They already know all that. It don't matter. Here's the deal. No, oh, it matters. It may, I, they, I have been. I have. That you have no idea. Every ounce of my credibility has been taken from. I mean, and done so in a dishonest way. 
you know. Amber, it, for it, abu- it, what, you know, you know, the abuse, the abuse thing is 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 we've got to deal with that. Yeah, we've got to deal I with that, don't Amber. Have any way of my credit is it's my credibility. You know what I don't. Like, and why I, did you put that out there? I did not. You forced me. Your team forced me to by going on the offense. I, I didn't force you to. The beginning. I promise. Look up the timeline for these things. Everything is... Forget it. Forget it. You don't believe what I say. You don't believe what I say. But I... I did not... I did not choose this. I, every step of the way has been an offense. I did I, not put this I, anywhere... I didn't. Uh, let me talk to the team. I did not call the cops. I made no statement. I.O. called the I cops. Did not call the cops. You told I.O. to call the cops. I did, not, I did not call the cops, and I did not give them any statement when they came. I've been trying to protect you. I you told I.O. to call the cops. When? When? While it, while it was happening? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because the last time that it got crazy between us, I really did think I was going to lose my life, and I thought you would do it on accident. And I told you that. I said, oh my god, I thought for the first time... Amber, I, I lost oh, a f- finger, it. man. Come on. I had a f- I had a f- A I mineral can't, a jar, a can of mineral spirits I, thrown at my nose. I, I, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight, and see what the, ju- see what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I'm a victim too of domestic violence, and yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. Oh my god. And she basically dismisses the severity of his finger injury and having items thrown into his head and his face and continues to taunt him. If that's not the most sickening thing I've ever heard in a long time, I don't know what is. It doesn't matter if it's a fair fair, fair fight. Exactly. Because you're you're bigger and you're stronger. So when I say that I thought you could kill me, that doesn't mean you count her. You also, uh, that that, that you lost your own finger. I, I am not trying to attack you here. I'm just trying to point out the fact of why I said call 911. Because I was, you are, you had your hands on me after you threw a phone in my face, and I just got crazy in the past, and I truly thought I need to stop this madness before I get hurt. Oh my god! And I never think about myself that way. I never defend myself that way. I never see myself as a victim. So once again, we hear that sigh of resignation and frustration from Johnny. Oh my god, she actually believes her own lies. She actually believes this happened. She is actually running with this. Despite the fact there are multiple witnesses completely refuting what happens. Meanwhile, we have Amber saying that she never sees herself as a victim. Despite the fact she has played the victim throughout the entire duration of this phone call. It's your fault, you know? Alright, yeah. And I... I, I, when they came, I did not cooperate with them. It has been used against me, not by the media, by your side. Who said... Look, what do you mean? Where's the media? It's all out in the media. Why is my... DMD is in your pocket and you don't even know it? Here, her tone of voice turns almost quite patronizing as she moves back on to blaming TMZ and Johnny's team for everything. Well, I was at the courthouse while TMZ is posting things. At the courthouse, while I'm at the courthouse, they're posting things about the cops never coming, right? Then we, we provide proof. Then they say, oh, well, just one, one, one set of police officers. Then they retract their story, but they don't actually retract it like an objective media source would. No, what do they do? They just come out with a new lie. They go, oh, well, it was just one pair of cops, and she said it was two. And I said, no, here's the proof. We just subpoenaed the building for the actual security records to prove that was wrong. Okay, then what did they do? They came out with a new lie, a different lie. Okay, well, it was this. It was this. I mean, every step of the way I've had to take has been because that that new source is in Marty's pocket. In Laura, like, that's from Laura's source. Okay, listen. Every step of the way. All right, listen, here's the... Planted. 
all right, fine. You, you believe what you believe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call to these people. I'm going to take care of this. See what the is going on. I will get back to you. Otherwise, listen, as far as I can tell right now, it sounds like you want to go to court. And you want to f*** yourself real bad. I, don't, I just want to clear my name. I've been telling all the lawyers this from the beginning, and your lawyers knew this. You cannot don't clear up your name now. Don't let them lie to you. Don't let them lie to you. I have said only this from the very beginning. I only have my integrity. And they, the unfortunate thing is... They what about mine? They keep step further. What about mine? They keep taking... They keep taking... That's what I keep... I'm trying to say to you, literally, in words. I'm out, out of my mouth. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Every step of the way, I have said to them, the thing is, they're hurting Johnny by this. Because every time that they call me a liar, or they say this is not true, or Steven says this text message does not actually happen, or that uh, uh, your security guard, which, by the way, was a follow-up to your security guard saying they never saw abuse happening. The same security guard who, by the way, have said to me, multiple times that I was going to get killed. And once, on accident, I had the phone recording out on the table from one of our old fights where we're, you know, doing the thing where we record it. And we finished, walked away, whatever. And I, I kept Jerry Judge on making calls after that, which, which I didn't even know I had done. I had dropped my phone out on the table in the same room we were having a fight and then left the room. And then Jerry's on the phone. I, I, I mean, it's, it's him saying that he did not acknowledge any, any physical violence. You have no idea how bad this is going to be for every single person that has come on the record. Now, there is record of now Jerry and Sean saying that, both of which I can prove heard. Uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, acknowledged. There's also this Travis. Life. There's Travis <laughs> coming to get me. There's Travis having to come up and f***ing pull me away from you. Yeah, but that's you saying that to, to Travis. That's different from Jerry Judge saying to going on record saying he never witnessed any violence, and then me having a phone call conversation recorded of him saying exactly that. Not to mention multiple times where they and they'll have to do this under oath. Obviously, they're gonna have to say they didn't see it in front of me and other people that have heard them. You're gonna have to do this under oath too, you know. I will because I. It's an unfortunate part. Is, I can talk about all of this. Do you believe all this, oh, Emma? Do you believe I'm all this? Yes, yes. You, you believe you believe I'm an abuser. Yes. You believe I'm an abuser. In May, in December, in, in April. Uh, Do you believe I you're an abuser? Do you believe you abuse me I physically? Believe. Do I physically believe? I mean, do I believe I physically abused you? Yes. Do you know I'm 115? Well, not anymore, but I was 115 pounds. I'm that's a 115 pound woman, and you're going to say I have the capacity to abuse you? That's not the question. That's not the question. That was not the question. Yes, as um, often happens with Amber, when she's asked a yes or no question, she goes off on a tangent and doesn't answer a straight yes or no. Also, she is about five foot seven, five foot eight, the same height as me. One hundred and fifteen pounds, really. Have I ever been able? Have I ever been able to knock you off of your feet? You started. Off your you started these things. Well, you are going to get up on the stand, Johnny, and say she started it. Really, I have never been able to overpower you. That's the difference between me and you. Why did you try? And that's the difference that the whole world. And that a jury and that a judge will see is that there is a very big difference between me and you. And all of your, all of the people that have come out and lied on your behalf that I, that I can prove as lied, whether it's via text messages that can be authenticated by third party forensic, uh, 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 electronic forensics experts, or if it's um, audio, if it's photos, there are so, there's so much evidence. It blows, there is no reason, there is no reason. That all this had to come out, but every step of the way, I mean, here, I didn't say anything about security not doing their job or doing their job, and they came out with it. That was a proactive, you not understand that. There's a proactive step. I had to respond. You cannot automatically, you <laughs> cannot think that it's just my side. You're f***ing killing me. It's Your f***ing people are trying to it kill is. me. You've turned me into a no, My boy has to go to school. My boy goes to school and has kids go, so your f***ing dad's a wife beater? You don't think about that, Amber. <laughs> Threats, me and every single person in my immediate circle 
of friends and family is getting also matters. And it, you think I would you think I would death threats? You people put this out. You didn't want this out. Why would why 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 security come on the record and lie? Then like why go that's a proactive measure. So why did you or your divorce attorney get the um file for divorce, period, at all? Second, why did she have to go and get it from TMZ? Why, if you wanted it private, did uh, is TMZ being fed information literally by Laura Walker and Marty Singer every step of the way? Take oh, really, oh my 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 arrest record. What's next in the media? The rumors that I'm stripping of course. Of course I can expect that next. I've known every step of the way, every single step of the way, everything you give up. Okay, it almost sounds to me that she's trying to suggest here that Johnny was waging this big conspiracy against her over the years where he would slowly leak out information about her her private life, her past life. And as you will see, Johnny gets very upset by this implication. And it's also interesting that she is making this implication given her monologue earlier about how no one would believe that she had been cooking up this grand um, hoax involving makeup artists and photographers and correlating text messages. I know every step of the way, every single step of the way, everything you'd give them. You don't think I'd, give them. Them. I'd give them. I'd give them. That's it. I'd give them. I'll see you in court. No, I'll see you in court. I will see you in court. I never said that. I never told anyone that. You trusted me with that, and I've never told anyone that. And you know what, Amber? This is my, no, this is me. This is me saying, I tried. And thank you, and I will see you in court. You don't want to make nice nice? I'm trying. I'm trying. But you know what? You, I loved you for so many years, but you know what? You didn't exist. You don't exist. You're not there. You're not there. You were a made up thing in my head. And I, f Stop. I can't believe Stop. you're doing this to me. Stop. I can't believe it. There's no need to be cruel on top of it. You've been nothing but cruel, and I'm going to court with you. I'm, 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 I'm sitting here defending myself, and it makes you so angry. You have Stop. not let up. You keep blaming. No, what you just said. What you I'm just said to me, myself. what you just I'm said to me, myself. you're defending yourself against me about something I didn't do, and I'm not going to fight with you because I know this I lasts forever. I did it. I said I could expect it next. I am defending myself. Excuse me. I am right. defending myself. Excuse me. I'm defending myself to you on the phone right now, and you're attacking me. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Would you, can you give me one minute, please? May I have one minute, please? I'll be right back. And here we have the video ending with Johnny doing what Amber said in the previous audio that he always does. Whenever things get heated, he leaves the room. And there it is. You can actually pinpoint the moment that he realizes the reality of the situation. The moment he realizes that there's no salvaging this relationship. There's no way for it to end amicably. amicably. Because that was never going to happen. It just wasn't. This is how these. This is how abusive relationships go. The victim will try everything that they can to try and make the relationship work, even far beyond the point, uh, far beyond the point of which it had broken. And the abuser, the narcissist, on the other hand, is desperate to keep control of things notice how amber near the end of that call started getting angrier and shrill and she was just throwing threat after threat after accusation after accusation she was throwing everything at the wall everything to try and keep johnny under her control 
but all it served to do was to give him that moment of clarity, that realization where he could say, that's it, I tried, because that's all the victim wants to do is try, try and make it work, because there's a certain amount of responsibility, a feeling of responsibility on the victim's part that they feel that they have to make it work, that they're to blame, that if this does go down the toilet, then they're at fault. But then they do get to a point where it's like, damn, I've tried everything and this just isn't working. I have to walk away from this. I have to just rid myself of this negative, toxic situation. And I believe that's what's happened at the end of this call. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, so yeah, I suppose you can probably chop out some of the bits of this audio. It was kind of a yeah. Um, that's pretty much all all I have to say on that. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully this was useful. 